Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another little video, man. So in this one, we're gonna close the sunroof, it's a little bit windy out. Um, in this one, I just wanted to go over a few of the reasons that I went with a straight pipe for my G35. Now I'm not close this window too. I'm not completely straight piped. Um, I'm a little bit aftermarket because I do have a 350Z mid pipe, uh, but I do have a muffler delete all the way at the back. So um, there's really two main reasons that I ended up going with this specific setup for the time being. Now, a lot of you guys know that I did own a Ultima prior to buying the G35, and I pretty much had a full exhaust on that. I had um, high flow pre-cats, wide pipe from Racing Line, as well as a just pretty much straight pipe all the way back to two Gretty knockoff mufflers, pretty much straight through. Um, the reason that I went with this setup off the bat was pretty much uh, cost and obviously the sound. Now, you guys do know that these G35s have the magnificent VQ35 motor. And, um, you know, oh, hold on, we're gonna get a little taste of this right now. I think we're going a little too fast to even hear the noise there. Um, however, uh, yeah, this car does have the VQ35 and in sedan form it has a giant mid pipe uh, slash resonator and a nasty ass, um, I guess what would you want to call it, uh, muffler. Um, to be honest, in stock form, this car sounded like a little Honda Civic. Um, not impressive at all. So the sound, I wanted the sound and I knew that I, you know, Right off the bat when I got this car, I said I was gonna keep it stockish. Well, that did not last very long. It wasn't, uh, you know, before I was driving it a couple days that I realized where I needed to improve it. Um, and, you know, there was a few things that I wanted to do off the bat. So what I could have done was either put a full exhaust on this car, like over $1,000, full headers, uh, Y pipe, uh, you know, all the way back to mufflers or what have you. Um, some two true duels to two mufflers. However, um, I, you know, I wouldn't have had money to spend on other things which I knew that I wanted slash needed, that being the coilover suspension setup. I knew that I wanted to have the car um, lowered. So it was, you know, it was either I spend a lot of money on an exhaust system or I spend a little money on an exhaust system and then I spend the rest on coilovers. So, you know, it was kind of a need versus want thing. You know, I knew I wanted the sound. I also, oh, gotta love that. Um, but I also wanted to lower my car. So really it came down to cost convenience at the time it was very convenient I think two days after I owned this car I cut the muffler off and I was able to unlock that VQ sound um, so gotta love that you know I didn't have to save up for a big expensive um, exhaust system but that being said that in the future I don't really know what the future holds for this car now currently I'm saving for a turbo I got that YouTube money on hold so hopefully by next year we'll have a lump sum of money that I can either put into a turbocharger or supercharger but I just don't know man but um, in the future once I start uh, working a few things out, you know, a more expensive uh, muffler setup or exhaust system is definitely, let's get a little splash of water there. Uh, it's probably definitely something that I'm gonna want to invest in. Um, but for now, it was just, you know, for the cost, oh, a little rough on that downshift. For the cost, uh, what I paid for, the, for this exhaust system was like under 300 bucks. Um, you know, it really gave me the sound that I was looking for for the price. And uh, I was also able to, uh, you know, get the coilovers that I wanted and lower this car down just a little bit. Hopefully I'm in the shot here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I was straight pipe my G35 right off of the bat. Now, like I say, in the future, I'm probably gonna invest a little more money into the exhaust. Um, you know, since I, there's a few guys out there um, on the, you know, the Facebook forums and YouTube that uh, definitely have 
uh, you know, some exhaust sounds that I would like to achieve in the future. But for now, uh, reasons being basically it was cheap and I wanted that sound. Those two combined uh, made it an easy, uh, you know, an easy choice. So yeah, I figured I'd just answer that question since I have gotten a few comments on YouTube asking me why I cheaped out and I realized that it is the cheap route and you know, it's kind of half-assing it. But for me, it's going to probably be somewhat temporary and at the same time, it's you know, this car is uh, it's a 2004 so it's pretty old. Um, not the most expensive car so I didn't really mind hacking and slashing the exhaust, welding it up. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it. Oh, nice little Porsche there. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to put an end to this video. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. So um, I'm thinking we're going to put an end to this video. I just want to say thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll catch you all at the next one, man.